Hello again from the Snake River EDC channel in the beautiful state of Idaho. It's a great September day. My name's Chris, and uh, yes, I said September. That's my favorite time of the year. Uh, the last couple weeks of September, the first couple weeks of October. The weather's great, the leaves are changing, the season's changing, and it's hunting season. We went out last week with my boys hunting, and uh, my 12-year-old got his first year, so thumbs up. That's exciting. Uh, yesterday was the opening of duck season. I've got some jerky cooking right now. We had a great day. I'll post a, post a picture when I edit the video, or in the comments, I, I don't know. But uh, yeah, it was, it was great uh, opening day. We got some mallards, widgeons, uh, and some teal. Um, but this video is not about duck hunting. I was going to do another product review, but this isn't so much a product that I um, bought. It's a product that I assembled. Now, I know you guys have seen these. You've seen these Altoid survival tins, urban survival tins. Everybody's making them. Everybody's got them. There's a bunch of videos out there. You can even buy them direct from the store, a little first aid kits in an Altoid tin. I saw some of the ones uh, that were for sale in the store, and they looked pretty basic, you know, generic pain reliever, generic plastic strips instead of band-aids and so um, I wanted to put together something that I thought was maybe a little more high quality. Um, this is something that I could give away as a gift or possibly give to um, um, friends or family uh, but I, there's also a craft fair coming up so I put a bunch of these together I think I'm going to sell them along with some pair of cords uh, items but um, anyways this is something I'm going to sell and make a great Christmas gift something to put in a hiking pack uh, you could put it in your purse, you could put it in your jockey box, which is Idaho slang for glove compartment or glove box. Uh, so keep it in your vehicle. Um, just carry it in your pocket if you want and keep it in your, in your desk at work, um, in your locker. So it, it's, uh, it's, this could be a great tool, could even possibly save your life. And here it is, just a little kit that I put together. I call it the ultimate survival. Uh, you guys know I'm big on the dad jokes and the puns. Uh, this one's, um, I call it the ultimate, obviously, because it's in, a, in an Altoid style container. Um, so this has got 33 different pieces in it, including this strap and this compass that are, that are tying it together. This is a little oil compass, not, not the greatest in the world, but it could be a good backup if you had, uh, didn't have your phone with you, uh, which has a great compass, by the way, or you didn't have a, a main compass. Um, the other kind of has dual purpose. It's an oil compass. So if you needed help starting a fire, you could actually break that open and use that as, uh, as a little bit of kindling or fire starting for, for your little small fire. It's on a Velcro strap, which helps keep the case closed. You could also wear this as a bracelet uh, as you're hiking around uh, with your compass on it. So it kind of dual purpose with the Velcro strap there. Inside the kit, you can kind of see how things are organized in there. I got a variety of, of, of things. Um, first off, we've got these Yuko um, weather resistant fire matches. These are good stuff. Uh, work a lot better than your standard stick matches. Uh, you can see how long the, the flame is there, how long the matches are. They're wrapped in a little bit of electrical tape. Now that's, the electrical tape's not one of the 33 items, but it is, uh, something that uh, you could use if you needed to do a little bit of tape to, to wrap something up. Uh, so on, then on the top of the tin, you've got a striker there for your matches. You've got a little uh, four hour citronella candle. Now this is a little tea light, could provide light, uh, maybe a little bit of warmth. Um, and then the citronella also helps keep the mosquitoes away. So you've got in here, this is where the mint part comes in. You've got a little pa pack of four Tic Tacs, cute little guy. Uh, that would help with keeping your breath fresh, keep the hunger pains away. Maybe you're going out on a date and you got this in your car and you need something to freshen up. Um, also, you've got a pencil, not just any pencil, a Ticonderoga number two, great for taking tests. Uh, but in this case, it would probably be good for writing a note, uh, leaving a message for someone. Then you've got a little uh, emergency whistle, aluminum, aircraft grade aluminum. Fairly loud, uh, good for signaling in case of an emergency. And then inside, we'll keep going here, uh, we've got a little fishing kit. Let's get 10 yards of 10 pound uh, fishing line, again wrapped in a little bit of electrical tape. You've got 
two different sizes of fishing hooks and two sinkers in there in this little plastic bag. That uh, could be good, useful if you need to catch your dinner, you're close to water or something. Fishing line can also be used for other things. Uh, it could be used to um, make, a, make a tool of some sort or to lash something together. Also got a mini sewing kit here. You've got a uh, heavy duty needle, long heavy duty needle and heavy duty thread. I just didn't want that cheap dollar store thread uh, that so many of these kits come with that just breaks when you're trying to sew something together. So I opted for the, the more heavy duty thread uh, that's really going to be able to hold your garments together. Um, if you're sewing back together a jacket or a coat, a piece of clothing, um, could really stitch it together good. In here also you've got uh, some bare aspirin, great for pain relief, also could help you in a heart attack type situation. Then you've got a couple of heavy duty uh, zip ties. And these are not just your standard duty 50 pound zip ties. These are, these are heavy duty UV resistant uh, 75 pound zip ties. So they're gonna be sturdy if you need to bind something together, tie something together. I've used those a lot of times for makeshift car repairs or things like that. You've got a little um, multi-tool, pocket multi-tool. Uh, again, it's got a variety of little tools that may come in handy. You've got a can opener, you've got a bottle opener, a little bit of a blade and a saw blade, a couple different sizes of wrenches, even a sundial and a ruler, um, if, if those came up where they might be useful. So just a great little pocket tool that gives you a variety of things. Mainly I was interested in the, the can opener and the bottle opener. Uh, those may come in, in handy. If you're out and camping and forgot the can opener and you're just in your tent, you've got this little kit in your backpack. You've got three Band-Aid brand uh, Band-Aids. These are the good uh, heavy duty ones that uh, will be able to, to cover a small wound. A couple of uh, alcohol strips that can be used to clean the wound. You've got a mini glow stick in here, just a tiny little guy, but this would provide you a little bit of a night light. Uh, I've seen people use these for fishing. They'll put them on, on their bobber, um, and then that way they can see if they've got any action on their line. You've got a, a couple of uh, heavy duty safety pins. Um, so these are big, large safety pins, again, for repairing some fabric, uh, maybe fastening something together, patching, patching a hole in the tent, something like that. Quite a bit of stuff in here. Uh, most people I've shown this to have been surprised by how much you can actually fit into an Altoids tin. Um, so thanks other YouTubers for the video ideas. Uh, I've got a heavy duty uh, carbon steel razor blade. Uh, so this could be used for uh, cutting. Um, you could use this to clean a fish in an emergency, you know, cut, cut the fish open. So that could go along with your fishing kit. And then in the bottom here, last but not least, you've got a couple pieces of waterproof paper. Uh, so this is not your standard paper. It can give wet and won't dissolve into a mush. Uh, you could write on this, leave a note for someone. It's handy, like I said, if you have it in your car, maybe you're in an accident, you need to notify somebody that, uh, that, that you were in a fender bender uh, with your contact information. Maybe you're out camping uh, and you need to leave a note for somebody at the base camp because you're heading out on a hike. Uh, maybe you need to write down instructions or ingredients or, or anything. So it's good to have a little bit of paper to go along with the pencil. And that's really the uh, 33 piece uh, ultimate survival. Now I'm sure you guys have your own kits. You can send, send a picture, post a picture in the comments and uh, let me know what you've got in your kit. Again, this is better than probably something you'd pick up down at the store, uh, but uh, you know, everybody's situation is a little bit different. If you're, if you're spending a lot of time outdoors, you may want a different kit than somebody who's in, in a city primarily. And so I've got, I've got another kit that's mine personally. But again, this is, uh, this is a handy kit to keep in your car, your backpack, uh, your hiking pack, uh, you know, your camp trailer, your uh, glove box in your car. So lots of different things you can do with it. Um, 
and you guys know I can't leave a, a video without telling a, telling a joke. So here's, here's an oldie. Um, some of you may have heard it. Most of my stuff is not original. So uh, anyways, there's this gentleman driving down the road in his car. He's going about 55, 60 miles an hour. He happens to look out the driver's side window and he sees a chicken running alongside his car. Now this chicken's going about 55, 60 miles an hour. And he looks again and he noticed that the chicken has three legs. Well, that chicken speeds up, passes his car, and turns down a gravel road. The guy decides he's gonna follow it. So he follows the chicken down the gravel road and he comes to a, a farmhouse. And there's a farmer out in the yard. And he says to the farmer, he says, hey, excuse me, sir, but did you see a chicken run down this road about 60 miles an hour? And the farmer says, oh yeah. He says, that's one of our chickens. And the guy says, one of your chickens? He says, that chicken had three legs. And the farmer said, yeah, yeah, we breed them that way. And the guy said, why on earth would you breed a chicken that has three legs? And the guy, the farmer says, well, we, we eat a lot of fried chicken. He says, my, uh, uh, you, you eat fried chicken too? And the guy says, yeah, of course I eat fried chicken. He says, well, do you like the drumstick? And the guy says, well, I, I love drumsticks. Of course, that's the best part of the chicken. And he says, well, how about, how about your wife? She liked the drumsticks? He says, sure, that's great. Uh, she likes them too. Well, suppose you had some company over and they wanted an extra drumstick. Well, that's great, uh, more drumsticks, that's a great idea. He says, hey, how do them chickens taste anyways? And the farmer says, I don't know, we never caught one of the damn things. So there's your little bit of uh, humor for the day. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'll be back with some more videos. I'm still trying to get the hang of this, trying to get them uploaded and edited so they're not terrible quality. And I, I seem to be having a lot of issues, but uh, if I can get it figured out, I'll put some more jokes, some more videos up. So thanks for tuning in. Have a great day. Have a great September.